So hey guys, um, I want to show you another fantastic kick from Trumpeter today. I want to show you the 1200 scale German battleship Bismarck. This one was a gift from my wife for my birthday. And I thought that was so cool. She asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I had always wanted to do the Bismarck. Um, and when the Trumpeter 1200 scale came out, well, come on, this is like the Super Bowl of Trumpeter models for the Bismarck herself. And I just wanted to get it. So this is 1200 scale. And the significance of today, today is May 27th. And she was sunk today by the Royal Navy. And we'll get into that. I'm sure there's information on the inside of the box. I also did a complete history of the ship. I'll put the link in the description um, if you want to see it. And that being said, let's go ahead and let me show you what's in this fantastic kit. You can see some of the photo edge pieces. And this is released in 2018 by Trumpeter. And one of the things that's really cool about this kit is it's got another kit inside, another bonus kit of one of the main guns with the turrets. Let me see if I can situate it to show you guys what else is on the side of the box. You can see a top view of the ship. View at the end of the box. This is kit 03702. Again, this is 1200 scale. And it's the same on both ends of the box. And looking at the other side of the box, you can see how it's supposed to be painted. Camouflage, paint bag. You put the seaplanes as well. And bring the box down a little bit. German Bismarck battleship. And you can see made in China, of course. 1200 scale kit 03702. Bismarck battleship is a world famous German battleship in World War II. The ship commenced in 1936 and service in August of 1940. Full load displacement of 50,000 tons, the largest battleship in the world at the time. Bismarck was a symbol of Nazi Germany. German Navy ships armed and well protected protection known as the unsinkable sea fortress. But it was sunk after the implementation of the first combat mission. The ship in the Denmark Strait sea battle, the Bismarck, in war less than 10 minutes after sinking the HMS Hood battle cruisers, known as the British Royal Navy Proud. But by the Ark Royal aircraft carrier takeoff of the Swordfish torpedo bomb as launched torpedoes hit the Bismarck. The Bismarck's rudder jammed, unable to control the direction of the normal navigation, the next morning, Bismarck was finally surrounded by the British fleet in a continuous onslaught by nearly two hours after Bismarck finally sank in the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, because this is so big, <laughs> I'm gonna try to show it to you guys the best I can. Um, I'm gonna try to keep the box up over here, but I'm having a hard time keeping it from falling down. If it does, well, just bear with me and I'll have to reposition it or because I do want the ship as the backdrop. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take everything from the box to the side and I'm actually going to show it to you as we, um, we go along. So, the first thing that's in the box is we have all the paperwork. Looks like the first thing is the paint guide. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Let me show you guys the paint colors. Let's see, we got gold. Cocoa brown, flat black, orange yellow, flat white, gray, wood brown, clear green, uh, tan, red, white, green, uh, natural gray, 
light blue, naval yard gray, and clear red. And you can see the way the ship looks once it's painted with the uh, the camouflage. It looks kind of cool. And that's the starboard side. And we have a view from the top. And from the port side. It's amazing how they camouflage these ships to make them harder to find. And let's see, we've got the seaplanes. I think she had four of these, I'm not sure. It shows you the decals and the color schemes and where they're going to go. And there's nothing on the back of this. So let's put that to the side. And next we have the, it looks like the detail setup kit from Pontos. And that would be kit 66602. One 200 scale Bismarck detail setup kit for trumpeter item number 303207. Uh, it's got resin, wooden decks, it's got the photo etch pieces, metal parts. It says coming soon in 2020, but remember this was a 200, uh, 2018 release and $240. see the back more of the ad for it the trumpeter model kits their Facebook page it shows you where you can buy it your email so that's for the uh, the detail setup kit it's expensive I don't know if I have that in my future but we'll see and next we have the instruction manual this is a pretty big instruction manual. So let's see, we've got item number 03702, German Battleship Bismarck. Read this kit, read this before assembly. This kit is not recommended for inexperienced modelers. All right, it shows you the keys, things you're going to need, the glue, the knife, the decals, the file, etc. Let's get right into it. So part one, you can see this is the parts page, the part, parts list. You can see the hull, the top of the deck, A, B, and C trees. And then we have more of the trees on the next page. Man, there's a lot of parts in this. <clears throat> it's going to take forever to build. <laughs> you guys, incidentally, you ch should check out Agora Models. They did a fantastic version of this kit with the firing guns, the anchors that go up and down, and the lights. And you see more of the parts list, and then we have the photo etch on the bottom. It looks like going to this four, five photo etch sheets. So this probably would look pretty phenomenal with just what's in the box. All right, moving on to step one, you can see what looks like the keel is being put on. And you can see the propeller shafts that are going into place and the rudder. Of course, it was the rudder that had damaged um, in a locked position where she was only able to go in circles, basically making her a sitting duck for the Royal Navy. And you can see some of the bracing that's going to go inside for the hull. And we start to put the decks on, the main deck, going onto the hull. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get the, the wooden deck or if I'm going to attempt to paint the deck to look like wood. You can see more of the smaller pieces. We got the anchor, 
the capson. You can see some of the, um, the vent tubes, the photo edge pieces that are gonna go on. We got what look like cranes and guns on the bottom. Trail gun, the depth charges. Yeah, this is a lot of detail in this kit. And we move on to starting to put everything onto the deck. The capsons that we just worked on, the vent tubes. And remember, we have to, everything needs to be painted before we can work on it and assemble it. Again, I don't know if I'm gonna get a wooden deck or attempt to paint it. You can see we've got the vent tubes and the intake vents, capsons. And we're starting to put more of the detail on. You see the chains, the anchors that are going to go on over there. Some of the small pieces. It looks like the guns are going to go on the bottom. You know, the guns gun towards the top. This one has a lot more. Pretty much the same thing. You can see where they're all going to go. So it's very, very detailed. So it's important to probably paint these pieces before adding them on. At least that's what I'm going to do. Everything will be detailed and ready, and then I'm going to add it to the ship. When you try to put it on and then paint it, you can see where you're going to possibly make a mess. See, so there's so many small pieces that are going to go on. And looking at the picture, you can you think, I mean, it, there's a lot of detailed parts just in the painting alone, so you can imagine what there is in store for us when we actually make the kit. And a lot of guns. Bismarck had many, 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 many guns. She was a battleship. More of the intake vents. You can see the depth charges that are going to go at the bottom or the aft end of the ship. And it looks like more vents. It looks like these are more photo wedge pieces. You can see the staircase up top. And the capstans. detail parts. Look at the detail in those small areas. The 20 millimeter in the 20 millimeter guns. So this is going to be very detailed. Look, you got the radar at the bottom. You got what looks like a crane. And we go into more of the radar. Look at that, huh? Look at the gun housing, or the conch, the, the con tower. Actually, the radar. Yeah, I don't think that was the conning tower. I don't think that was the radar. You can see more of the pieces that are gonna go on the back. I recently did for you guys a Lindbergh Models, the 1350 scale version of the Bismarck that was motorized. And there really wasn't a whole lot of, the knock on that model kit was a lack of detail. Well, this one is like, it's almost like a tidal wave of detail on this model. 
Incidentally, I do have the 1350 scale motorized version of the Turpets too, Bismarck's sister ship. At some point I'll show you guys. You see more of the staircases. I wish the instructions would tell you what sections these are, but they, they really don't. You can see the guns, the steps. And again, there's just so much detail. Which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. More detail. And looks like we got the formation of a smokestack. Let's see, how many smokestacks does Bismarck have? Looks like she just has one. She's got 12 boilers to power her. And she's got one smokestack, that's interesting. Considering she's almost 900 feet long. You can see the searchlight that's gonna go in on top next to the 20 millimeter AA guns. And it looks like a platform that goes around an observation platform. A lot more detail, observation set. And we got more photo etch staircases remember every section <clears throat> when you, you put it on the wooden part for the bow the main deck the wood will cover the main deck but we still have to do all the areas of the floors of all the levels in wood as well so I don't know if the deck would come with that well, that's got to be painted Again, we have some options to do for this model kit. Let's see, more. You can see we're putting the radar tower on. And this looks like the smokestack. So this is probably the smokestack. Yeah, that other thing I was looking at, yeah, it was the front. So this is the smokestack. few more photo etch pieces that go on the front. We have more, looks like those cranes that are going to go on. Well, that, that's probably a support for that section. And you can see, finishing off the putting the searchlights on the area around the smokestack. I wonder if um, this is going to show us what we do for the rigging. Because it looks, according to the painting, it looks like she's got a lot of rigging. Looks like a deck house. You can see the formation of the um, lifeboats. And more photo etch pieces that are going to go on for the better detail. And where we're going to put the lifeboats. Another part of the, the deck. The um, de building that's going to go on the deck, deck house. A lot more guns. And again, these detail little pieces are just gonna be so fun doing the detail in this. 
And it's so large, the ship herself is huge. I mean, she's basically the size of the Titanic, and she weighed 50,900 tons, fully loaded. So that's a really, really, really big ship. <clears throat> and it's in 1-200 scale. You know, I wonder if Trumpeter does a version of the Yamato in 1-200 scale, because I think the Yamato was nine, over 900 feet, but I'm not sure offhand. But this battleship, as strong and powerful as it was, was no match for air superiority. And basically, the same thing with the Yamato. While the British Navy took care of the Bismarck, the U.S. Navy took care of the Yamato. In a last-ditch effort to save the fleet, they sent out the Yamato as, as an attack, leading an attack force, and she was destroyed. see it looks like the mast we got more photo at sheets uh, parts you can see all the staircases and ladders you can see all the boats in place and it looks like these lights, searchlights, hopefully they have clear parts for the lens so we can actually light them. Or you guys that watch my channel know that I love to light everything up. So why not light up the Bismarck? Have the searchlights light up. You can see these two mammoth finished sections going down, being put and mounted to the deck, the main deck. And we're putting a smokestack in those sections with the boats, lifeboats. <clears throat> I said it's, it's a very impressive machine, but it, it really was no match. If you're gonna, it doesn't really do you any good if you're only gonna have two of these ships. And her sister, the Turpets, was destroyed also, but she spent her life hiding. You can see the formation of the what look like the main guns now. And the smaller guns. Yeah, you can see the formation of the blast bags. And it's telling you not to glue it so that you can raise the guns, the barrels. Put the blast bags on and then put the cover on. You can see some of the detailing that's gonna go on top of the gun turret, uh, excuse me, the gun itself. And then the gun is gonna go onto the turret. Some photo etch detailing. And we go on to the last part, the last section. You can see it looks like a crane that's going on, 105 millimeter guns. Um, there's four of those. We've got the 380 millimeter main guns. There's, well, there's four of those. <clears throat> you can see the formation of the plane scout plane you can see the wings that go on so if it's got this many parts it must be pretty large considering it's a 1 200 scale and we got the nameplate the nameplate kind of looks like the ship just kind of sits on its side or on the rests on her bottom with no stand and that's it for the instructions there's no rigging so all the rigging we do we're going to have to go by old photographs of the ship which is okay 
But one of the reasons I like this kit so much, let me show you, it actually came with an extra. Much like the Titanic, when that had come with the extra, uh, the lighting kit, this comes with an extra model kit as well. A totally separate one. You can see German Bismarck battleship main gun. And I love that. Look, you can look in the cross section. And this is a bonus model kit. Is there anything else to this? I think it's just this box. You can see the, it's got a photo etch piece, a sheet, the metal gun. You can see the parts list. German battleship Bismarck main gun E. So let's take shots. So why don't we go ahead and we're gonna open it up. Let's see, I had my, uh, here it is. Let's take a look at what we got from here. So this is like a, a total extra model kit on its own, which is really, really fun. So let's put this aside for now. And we've got instructions in this model kit. Love it. Check it out. You can see inside the, the gun. See what makes it tick. This kit is not recommended for inexperienced modelers, and we got the same kind of key on the front. Decal application, wow, and this kit actually has decals as well. All right, so we go through the parts list. Look at that. Moving on to step one, the formation of one of the main guns. And that would be with the metal gun. Part two. Yeah, let's see. Part three. We're mounting the guns down onto the base of the main gun turret. It, excuse me, I want to keep calling it the turret, but the base of the gun is going to go onto the turret. Step four. You can see all those details. Look at that. The detail of the small arm. Um, rounds that are going to go in and be fired. We got the cover. And let's see, this looks like it's the base or the part that's going to go deep into the, uh, the ship beneath the turret where most of the ammo is stored. And again, this can be detailed up really nice to go on the side of the ship when it's finished. This is cool that they do this. And you can see the parts that are gonna go. I love how they show the detail on all the levels, all the way down into the bowels of the ship. That's going to go way down into the turret. And the gun itself is only held on by gravity, so um, this will be able to rotate freely, I'm assuming. So that's everything for the instructions. Oops. That's everything for the instructions. So let's check out what we got. So we actually have a decal sheet for this model. So let's go ahead and Look like these are taped on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. All right. So we got decals. 
And for some reason, it can't show the swastika. I mean, it's not, I'm not defending the swastika, but it's part of history. So why you can't make it the right way where you have to actually paint it yourself. Um, but if you want it to look authentic, you have to paint it yourself. And it doesn't really say where the, uh, the decals go on this kit. Those are the decals that come with this section. And let's take a look. You can see that these are in packaging in here. These are metal. So these are, these guns are metal. So it'll be a pretty good size. You figure, you know, here's the top of the gun. And you're gonna have these going in like this. So it's going to be, you figure this is about seven or eight inches. And then we're going to have it going down into the ship. So this is a pretty good sized model. You can see the detail on this. So I'm thinking we're going to paint half. And then we're going to leave the other half clear so we can look inside and see what makes the turret work. And here's the photo etch. See the things that are going to go on top, and we have a chain. I'm not sure why we have a chain. I don't know if these pieces are supposed to go for the on the outside of the model for the actual ship, but we'll see. But anyway, you can see the photo wedge pieces or the sheet that comes with it as the chain. Looks like there are two different sizes. All right, so let's move on to one of the trees. Looks like the floor of the gun itself. And we got a lot of different parts. It's gonna be pretty fun to detail up. And let's see. It looks like these are the floors of the levels that are going to go deep below into the ship. Looks like <clears throat> the base parts of the, the guns. You can see some of the detail that's on that. And the last tree, look at that. It's all clear. That's pretty cool. Again, we're going to paint half, and we're going to leave half clear, so we can look inside and see all the detail. Um, forgive me, I'm not going to take these out of the plastic, only because we've got, I've got so much to show you, and I don't want the video to be six hours long, so. All right. There's a, there's a box that's underneath that extra model kit. And let me get all the trees out for you. This is everything that's underneath that box. And let's see. Look at that. And both of these trees are identical. This looks like some kind of a hood for a vent. See the tiny little, I'm not quite sure what these are. But these, um, both of these are identical. All right. Next, it looks like we got the, the search planes. Nice. And because it's one two hundred scale, these planes are pretty large. And this is going to be easy to to really make up. Really nice. Look at that. Look at the detail on the wings. You see the fuselage. Yeah, these, these are gonna look really nice. 
So you figure the wingspan is probably about, I don't know, three, four, maybe four inches. So this is a pretty good size. And let's see, there's four of the planes. So I think all these trees are the same. So both of these parts are the same. And it comes with four trees. Yeah, they're all the same. <clears throat> and again, for saving time, I'm going to move on from opening that because they're the same as what I showed you. All right, that was underneath this section. Okay, now we're going to move on to one of the boxes that's in front. You can see the, the box that's on it. Oh, excuse me, the picture that's on it. And this is box number F or letter F. So let's go ahead and all right. So and again there are a lot of sections that have the same or trees that have the same parts. So you can see there are four of these. And this is for the main guns. And they all appear to be the same. So Let's put this aside and I'm going to show you guys one of them and we have four because of course there are four main guns on the battleship herself and this is for the main guns. <clears throat> now the extra kit that we got, the guns were made of metal but this is plastic. And you can see there's they're, they're longer, whereas the metal part kind of went up to about there. And then the rest was plastic. But these appear to be the same size and one 200 scale as the extra model kit that we got. Again, you can see the guns, where the hinges are going to go so we can raise the barrels. And you can see the floor of the gun and the section that's going to go rest on the turret. And again, there are four of these, and they're all identical. All right, what else do we got? Looks like we got a part of the ship, the deck, one of the decks, the boat deck. Really nice. Like I was saying, see how everything you can tell where the wood is going to be. So not only do we have to do the deck, but we have to do these sections as well. And I don't know if the um, the detail set kit has all the pieces of wood that go up in here on these sections. We'll have to find out. I have to look into that and see about that. But look at the detail on the side. Look at the walls, the heavy doors. You can see the portholes with the porthole covers that are open. And we got the windows. Again, this will be easy to light. You can drill out the portholes. And this plastic is really thick. It's like, it looks like a, at least an eighth of an inch thick. So lighting it really shouldn't be an issue. That'd be pretty, uh, pretty easy. All right, we got more. And it looks like there's two more of the same kind of buildings. Now, let me show you the detail because there's a lot of detail on these. Look at that. Just look at the detail on that. And I guess for the money that we pay, because this is an expensive kit. I mean, this is just about as expensive as a Titanic was. So I guess you wouldn't expect anything less for something so expensive. But I love the detail in this. All right, let's see, we got, I'll show you guys this section. Again, you can see the decks. 
hope the camera picks it up for you, the planking on the decks. Let's see more of the detail. The doors, I love the doors. <clears throat> Again, you can see what look like life rafts on the sides. Looks like a vent. And I guess this box mostly is um, the superstructure or the, the decks of the superstructure. Look at the detail in that. Huh? Look at those vents in the back. You can see the ladder, the doors. You should be able to be weathered up really, really nice. And this looks like the bottom section. Yeah, you can see it's mostly. You can see the deck and the building, the other parts that are going to go on there. And you can see, let's see, this could be the, this one right there in the back. You never know. It could be the front one. You can see the, the walls are really, really detailed. Love it. And yeah, it looks like there's one more section. Yep. One last section in here. And then it's another piece of the deck. One of the parts that's going to go on top of the deck. You can see little indentations where the, uh, the smaller guns are going to be mounted. Lots of detail. All right, now we're going to move on to box B. And you can see the picture of the ship on it. And what's nice is it shows you everything that's in it. You see that. Look like the propellers. Get everything out. We'll do it that way. Then it'll be easier to just show you guys. Now, this one has a lot of photo etch. So we'll start by showing you the photo etch pieces. And as you would expect, there's a lot of rails. So you can see two pieces of photo etch are the rails. And we got two more. And just by looking at the painting, you can see a lot of railing around the ship. Okay, that brings us to, looks like we have some a staircase and some small pieces. That's so cool. Looks like formation of like a crane or a radar. And are these identical? Nope. I wonder if this is for the plane. And we'll go over the cockpit. Nice. Looks like that section is going to go around the um, smokestack, and this one as well. And we have some more staircases and platforms. Some more detail. Man, the photo etch just really helps you bring out all the detail in the model and just have it pop right out. Now we got a lot more staircases, and we've got ladders. As you can see, there are ladders and staircases throughout the ship, the superstructure. And we've got more. Back. All right, and that brings us to, we've, looks like there are two rods. Um, 
I think this is the propeller shaft, but I'm not sure. Two propeller shafts. <clears throat> okay, so that'll bring us over to the guns. Let me show you guys. We've got four main guns, so there's going to be two identical bags with these in it. You can see some of the detail that's already on there. And don't forget the photo etch is going to go on the back for the doors and there's going to be a lot more. But you can see how the rivets really bring it out. And there's two. Again, there's four main guns. So we're going to have four. Identical, but well, we're going to have two. Two bags that are identical. All right, what else is in here? Uh, we got two this looks like small little. I'm not going to take these out. I'm just going to show you. We got two of these. They look like they almost snap into place. And let's see. It looks like we've got. You can see the rivets. parts in here and it will go on the superstructure and let's see we got two more you can see the door I hope you can see the door and this looks like another part like the part that snapped in earlier okay now we have the propellers Four propellers. Again, these are plastic, so I guess the Ponto set would have metal. And we go into the first parts of the clear. I love clear parts because that means we can light. And look at that. This is going to be for the searchlights, especially the one up top. Absolutely, we can light this. We can put a, a small LED in there little diode is going to be beautiful it's going to be fantastic and are these identical yep these part trees are the same um actually all four of these part trees are the same so the searchlight love it love clear parts okay and that was in box b so now let's go over What's in here? We got box C. Show you guys. And these look like they're all the same. If they are, that'll save us a lot of time. One. Yeah, we've got four of the same. So let me show you guys one of them. <clears throat> and we've got the smaller guns. I don't think you can see the, the detail on that. These, of course, would be the smaller guns on the sides. And we got the floors of the guns and we've got the guns themselves if you ever had a chance to go into this see we live in new england and we're lucky lucky enough to live near the battleship massachusetts where we can go and explore her and going into these turrets is tur uh, excuse me these guns are really fun exploring the battleship is really fun and these are identical so they've got eight of these guns. That's why they have two identical bags with four of the identical trees. And let's see, are these all? Yep, these are the same as well. So we've got four of these. So let's open up one and show you guys what's in it.
show you guys what's in here. More guns. You can see all those barrels. Looks like anti-aircraft machine guns. A lot of little detail pieces. And these look like the housings. You can see the door on the side. And these look like they could be these. A bit smaller. We're going down in size. And again, these are identical. And there's two packages of them. And that was everything that's in the box. C. Feels like it's got a lot in it. In the box A. All right. Something about trumpeter boxes I just don't want to open. All right. So it looks like we could have. Look at that. The smokestack. Let me open this one up to show you guys. mistaken the, the smokestack and the instructions so um, the smokestack is back there aft of the bridge and the conning tower area so um, I'm not sure this could be the smokestack or maybe it isn't you can see everything that's going to go on it regardless of what it is you can see the bottom of the platform lots of detail on the bottom as well This is going to go along the deck, kind of like a barrier to protect. And I think this is the bow of the ship, bow all the way at the front. Let's see all the detail in that. All right. And it looks like we have the, again, these trees are similar, they're identical. And this is the formation for the lifeboats. And we got a crane on the bottom. And it looks like the radar tower. And we've got more of the buildings for the top. Let me take this one out and show you guys. going to go on the side and I'm thinking when we see something flat like that it's because there's photo etch that's going to go on there check out all the detail on that Look over there and I think that's the yeah that was the top so there's quite a bit and again some of that looks like it's planking so it'd have to be uh, painted or covered by the wooden deck and this one basically has more of the uh, the armor that's going to go along the front on the deck so you can get behind the fire um, we've got more of the lifeboats and it looks like we've got the mast in this. 
see the areas where the guns are going to go. More of the, the detailing, the little doors. And this one looks like it's a lot of really small pieces with the lifeboats. And again, these pieces are identical, so what you see is going to be the same one for the other side. Lots of small pieces. And again, for time constraints, um, I don't want to seem like I'm rushing through it, but I want to show you everything. See, and this tree is identical, so we have four of these. And the last piece in the box, um, you remember this is what goes inside of the hull. So this is not a stand, but it does show you um, the plaque of Bismarck. And that's everything in box A. All right. So the only box that's left to show you guys is the PSA resistance, and that would be the hull. So let's go ahead and so this is <laughs> really, really big. This is just immense. So let me take, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to show you guys this on the coffee table. So let's take it over to the coffee table. So we got the hull. And I'll show you guys where the section has got kind of like um like a sonar system way down at the front, but this section of the hull is missing. It's got to be put together. I'll show you guys some of the portholes that are going along the port side. And again, a lot of the photo etch will be uh, going in, adding detail as we go all the way back to the aft end. This thing is really, really big. Um, <laughs> I'll try to give you an idea. Um, my arm. is just really large. She was a huge ship. Again, at the back, the aft end. And I think that there were more of the portholes along the side. I'm not positive, but if it's going to be photo etched or the ponto set, the detail set would have more. You can see going down to the front, they've got the deck, the main deck. Um, it's not connected, but it's just laying on top. So you can see the, the wood grain, some of the details. There it looks like number one gun turret is going to be. We got number two. When we come to midship. And we go all the way back to the aft end of the ship. So let's see if I can. I'm going to zoom out. Let's see if we can get the whole thing in. So I've, I've zoomed out as far as the phone can go, 
and I still can't get the whole thing in the shot the way I'm sitting. <laughs> so it's pretty large. Actually, let's go ahead. I'm going to measure it. All right, so let's try to measure it. I'll take it down from the top. So it is approximately forty. It's approximately fifty inches long from the tip of the stern to the tip of the bow. It's actually forty nine and three quarter inches. <laughs> 49 and three quarter inches long. And let's put the deck, the top deck aside for a minute if I can find a place to put it. All right, let's try to take a picture of the, the measurement. And it's seven inches wide. So at the, at the widest point, it's seven inches. So this is a huge model. Um, you know what? It may be larger than a Titanic. I'm not sure. I don't remember offhand the, the Titanic measurements for the model kit. But my friends, if you were curious about the Battleship Bismarck from the Trumpeter 1200 scale kit, then I hope this satisfied your curiosity. And I'm sorry it took so long. I wanted to go through everything with you guys because there's a lot to this kit. And I know it is expensive. Um, so everything that you get is probably a good thing. You can see down to the bow where the anchors are gonna go, the chains. And lastly, let me show you the underneath of the hull. You can see where the propellers, or excuse me, the um, rudders are going to go. And then you can see where the center propeller and the propeller shafts. And you get the uh, detail in for you guys to see. Remember, there are parts that are going to go on the bottom um, that aren't on here, so it'll add more detail. Like the bilge keel offhand, the bilge keel is what I remember the most. There are other parts that, oh, I just dropped it. Going all the way down to the front. <laughs> but that, my friends, is this absolutely mammoth battleship model kit. This is the 1200 scale trumpeter. German battleship Bismarck. This is from trumpeter and this is the 1200 scale kit. So my friends, if you're curious about what was in this kit, I hope that this satisfied your curiosity. And until we do the build or I show you a detail kit, I'll talk to you guys very soon. And as usual, thank you so much for watching.